Scary Mysteries Twisted Twos, Atlantis, and Harold Holt. Tales of hauntings, murder, and scary mysteries. Every week, Twisted Twos dives into a pair of uniquely terrifying true stories that are worthy of a more in-depth look. For this week, we focus on the mystery of a long-lost civilization and the strange disappearance of a prime minister. Get ready for Scary Mysteries Twisted Twos. Number 1. Atlantis First mentioned 2,500 years ago in Plato's Dialogues of the Critias and Timaeus, the island of Atlantis even then was considered by many to be merely folklore. The great philosopher describes Atlantis as an island bigger than that of Libya that contained an advanced civilization. The island was said to lie beyond the Pillar of Hercules, or what is thought today to be the Strait of Gibraltar. Atlantis was supposedly protected by Poseidon, who instilled his son Atlas to rule over the kingdom. However, the more power the island acquired, the more their ethics dwindled. The Atlanteans not only had advanced weapons, but also said to have conquered various nations including Africa, Egypt, and even Tyrrhenia, which is part of today's Italy, before they were eventually driven back. As a result of their moral decline, the island was punished by the divine and endured earthquakes and floods before disappearing completely in a day and a night by sinking into the ocean. As for where he got his story of Atlantis, Plato said he heard it from his grandfather, who heard it from a revered statesman named Solon, and who in turn had heard it from an Egyptian priest. This priest then said that the story itself actually happened 9,000 years ago. Many people dismiss the story of Atlantis as nothing but Plato making up the existence of the island. It was his way of warning people and to serve as a cautionary tale of human hubris. But some insist the story is real and that the lost city of Atlantis did actually exist. And even some claim they found remnants of it. So are there any clues that the mythical and lost city ever existed? In terms of location, the most famous is, of course, somewhere close to the Rock of Gibraltar. This was where Plato initially cited the island to be, but so far nothing has ever come up. Meanwhile, others suggest it's in the middle of the Mediterranean or off the coast of Spain. Charles Berlitz famously proclaimed that Atlantis was located off the coast of the Bahamas and was swallowed up by the infamous Bermuda Triangle. Those who believe this theory cite the Bimini ruins found alongside the Bahama coast as possibly part of Atlantis. In 1958, Charles Hapgood's book, Earth's Shifting Crust, speculated that Antarctica is actually Atlantis, and that because of plate tectonics, it had moved to its current location and caused doom for its inhabitants. However, this book was written before any thorough understanding of plate tectonics existed and is now largely disproven. From the time of Plato's writings, he cited that the story of the disappearing island was already 9,500 years old. Scholars of their time couldn't verify or disprove the fact that any such island existed, so while it's possible that with more sophisticated technology we would be able to find it, for now the exact location of the island remains a complete mystery. Regardless of whether it is real or not, it's a fascinating story of an island being engulfed by the ocean. Throughout Earth's history, the tides and sea levels have shifted dramatically, so it's very possible that the city of Atlantis was a real place at one time in Earth's history. Number 2. Harold Holt Hailed as one of the first Prime Ministers of the Commonwealth of Australia, Harry Holt mysteriously disappeared after a swim, never to be found again. He was born to Thomas and Olive Holt on August 5, 1908. He spent more than 32 years as part of the parliament, fostering a successful political career in various positions and even serving as a gunner for the Australian military during the war. By 1966, he was elected as the prime minister on the Australian platform that was in full support of the U.S. troops being sent into Vietnam. On December 15, 1967, he wrapped up work and headed to Melbourne for a short vacation. He drove to Portsea, 
a small resort town to relax at his summer home. On December 16th, he spent the day relaxing with family and friends. The next morning, Holt spent some time playing with his granddaughter, then stepped out with a few friends to watch a European vessel. By midday, the plan was to head to Cheviot Beach, an area Holt had frequented for swimming and spearfishing. Once there, he stepped away from the group to change into his swim trunks. Despite the rough seas and the high tide, Holt was intent on going swimming. Marjorie Gillespie and her daughter Weiner were with the group, and she watched Holt swim farther and farther away. Martin Simpson, Marjorie's boyfriend, also went into the water but stopped short when he realized there was a strong undercurrent. The third man with them, Alan Stewart, also went into the water, but did the same as Martin and got out shortly after. By this time, Marjorie was trying to keep an eye on Holt, but the churning water soon enveloped him. When they couldn't see him anymore, the crew began to panic. The rest of the group soon climbed a nearby cliff to try and get a better vantage point. Stewart went for help, and minutes later, scuba divers were in the water trying to locate Holt. Unfortunately, the water proved too strong and murky, making it difficult for them to spot anything at all. Hours later, helicopters and the military arrived for a search and rescue effort. When sundown came, about 200 personnel were searching the area for any sign of his body. Rescuers from various branches of the government, including the Navy and Air, were dispatched and it was considered the largest search and rescue effort in Australia during the time. After two days of searching, Holt was proclaimed dead and John McEwen was sworn in as the new Prime Minister. By December 22nd, a funeral service was held with such dignitaries as Prince Charles, U.S. President Lyndon Johnson, and more. And shortly after this, controversy started circling Holt's disappearance. An official inquest was launched, and despite this, the controversy and questions never died down. For many, it was baffling that Holt, a reportedly strong swimmer, would simply disappear in a beach area that he was thoroughly familiar with. More than that, he served for years at the Parliament without incident, but died after just 22 months as the Prime Minister. Many speculated that with the growing criticism and unpopularity with the Vietnam War, that Holt might have been deeply affected by it and committed suicide. Other theories suggest he actually faked his death to run off with a mistress, that mistress being Marjorie Gillespie. His wife Zara, in a memoir after his death, confirmed the fact that Holt had extramarital affairs, and later on Marjorie herself also admitted that she and the Prime Minister were in a serious relationship for a long time. Some believe Holt was a Chinese spy and that somehow he faked his death to get away. Others believe the CIA might have dispatched him. Because of the growing unpopularity of the Vietnam War, it's believed that Holt was planning to withdraw support in the war effort but before he could do so, was taken out instead. His death also comes as a surprise since it was just four years after the assassination of President Kennedy, so the fact that no inquiry into his death was performed right away made people suspicious. The official inquest into his death didn't happen until 2005. According to it, Harold likely drowned in the waters during rough seas. The beach itself has been home to various shipwrecks and isn't generally open to the public because it's under military property. However, Holt and company were waived and allowed to swim in the area without any problem. It was also discovered that he was taking painkillers for a shoulder injury during the time, and that less than six months prior, he nearly drowned in the area while snorkeling with several friends. Today, the disappearance of Harold Holt remains a mystery for some, but for others, it's deemed a solved case. No body was ever found to prove or disprove any of the theories, and even the results of the inquest are still open to questions. So those were two of the most mythical and mysterious stories around. The world can be a crazy place, and Twisted Twos is sure to show you why. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel, and each week we'll have a new scary mystery show for you to check out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.